Hey, with today's daily sprint, we're talking about increasing our purpose, passion, and meaning. And hey, I got a favor to ask. Some daily sprints I think are fire. <laughs> today's going to be one. Others, I think, are more like ice. <laughs> so hey, let me know. Let me know what content you guys think is fire. Do a little fire icon. Uh, and if you think it's ice, meaning it sucks, then just do some ice cubes. <laughs> I promise I won't let my, my feelings get hurt, but I really love the feedback. So today, we're gonna talk about the first thing, the second thing, and the third thing that our brains think about, and this guides our life. So this could be some great awareness. All right, the first thing that we think about is how to get away from pain, okay? We have a pain. It might be financial pain, it might be marital pain, and we will then quest to get away from that. So the second thing our, our brain will focus on is either a distraction away from the pain, some type of pleasure, okay? Maybe some alcohol, uh, maybe uh, some workout, something focusing on, that on us. It just gets us away from the pain. Or we could focus on something that solves the pain, all right? So let's just say you have a pain of finances. You're like, oh my gosh, you, we can never just get caught up. The kids, and we gotta pay for this, and we gotta pay for that, and we're, we're, we're swimming around in debt. So we launch this business as a solution to solve the pain. But then what happens, it gets very uncomfortable. It almost, it, it almost creates more pain, and you're like, no. So instead of continuing to work that business, we then get back into the self-indulgences and look for pleasurable things to deal with that pain. Well, here's the thing, nothing that you have in your life, if you've got kids, was it comfortable? If you own a home, was it comfortable, the buying process? Oh my gosh, there's nothing more uncomfortable than buying a home. You know, all of the great things, if you've got a good physique, if you do got good finances, was it comfortable getting any of those? No. So we just gotta embrace that discomfort to help us have less pain, okay? Super, super important. Another thing, the third thing that our brain focuses on that can get us back into the pain and get us back into self-indulgences is what other people think. Here was a pattern, this is a pattern, by the way. Here was a negative pattern that was happening in my life. I had a pain, junk marriage, and not I wasn't really giving that much. I wasn't giving a lot, um, so we'll just say finances. Okay, so junk marriage and finances. My pleasure, instead of dealing with the junk marriage and doing, you know, uh, counseling, reading books, doing whatever I need to do, actually treating my wife good, okay, that would have been a, a, probably a good idea. So instead of doing the uncomfortable things to deal with the pain, I'd go out and do bodybuilding shows, and that was a great pleasure because people would be like, dude, you're jacked, you look so good. It was all this pleasure and dopamine. I'd clean my desk, I'd do my task list, I'd do all these small things that would give me like dopamine hits. But I didn't do anything to deal with the pain. So guess what? The pain didn't go away and it resulted in both of those things, both those pains getting 10 times worse. Divorce and that wrecked. Whatever was left of any finances were wrecked at that point. So now you even have a deeper pain. So th and this was a cycle that I would go over and over. And when you talk about what other people think, dude, when I was... Uh, you know, competing, people loved it. They're like, yeah, go shark. I had a nickname, the shark. People would travel to see the shelves. It was really cool. So I repeated that cycle to get away from the pain and it made the pain worse. So then I had a new, and the same pain, and like I said, the pain is worse. So now I had a new cycle. I had to have a new cycle or a new pattern. I, that old pattern wouldn't work anymore, okay? So the new pattern was pain, broken marriage, broken finances, okay? Now it was counseling, therapy. Yeah, talk about uncomfortable, dude. You know, growing man, going to counseling, you know, sitting on the leather couch. Um, group therapy, like telling your problems in front of a group. <laughs> very, very uncomfortable. Launching a whole, launch, re relaunching the gyms at the time, relaunching an online nutrition company. Very, very, very uncomfortable. And at this point now, it was like, you know what? Who cares what other people think? Yeah, that's cool. They all, they all thought it was great to do shows and get jacked. And that was very positive. But yeah, it wasn't really popular doing the online business. It wasn't really popular telling people I'm going to therapy. They're like, ha oh, ha, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that, not very cool, but I just gave that up because this was my new pattern. And now the new pattern worked. The new pattern worked. Instead of self-indulgences, now thriving marriage, thriving marriage. 
and thriving finances. So they can go, they can get a little bit more thriving. We gotta continue to water them. But hey, the marriage is absolutely thriving and we're both working to be great, uh, greater givers and, uh, and, and, and put more back into, uh, into community as far as time, resources, focus, energy, and money. So super, super cool. So what pattern are you running to deal with your pain? Is it the self-indulgence pattern? Because that will repeat over and over. People will probably praise it. Okay, a lot of times the self-indulgences get prayed, uh, praised rather. And what pattern needs to happen to actually deal with that pain? Hope this made sense. You guys have a great growth-driven rest of your day. Let me know if this pattern makes sense to you, if you've, if you've had it in your life. Love to get your thoughts on this.